Hey guys. So, been a week. You've done amazing things. Um, I've done not so amazing things. Uh, let's see. Um, what's happened? The signs and things that I've experienced in the last week. Um, I have experienced appetite increase and acne. It's great. I've been given some tips and tricks on how to deal with the acne because I have a friend who has similar skin issues with oil and stuff like that. So, um, oily skin and stuff. So, uh, I'm, I'm trying out that. Um, I got some medicine from my doctor for acne as well. So, so that works. I've been keeping up with it every day. So, it's not as bad as I think it looks, apparently. Um, I've got some questions over the week. Um, Stuart Mel the first question I was given was, um, how does testosterone work with working out, and does it affect each other, and kind of weird bubble of a question? I don't know. I'm weird. Me, me, me. Um, it's, when a man works out, testosterone is boosted to help repair muscles, but it disappears over time. So I'm taking a testosterone shot that'll help boost my testosterone levels. However, working out gives me a slight little air boost, but because I'm physically not what I want to be. It's not as much as I want it to be, so it does indirectly help me with muscle buildup and so on and so forth, and strength and so on. But that's not the intended purpose of it. It is hormone replacement therapy. Uh, it's something that doctors do for those that are transitioning. I hope that explained it in a short, impromptu way. Um, I already explained it earlier in the week over private message. So, oh, there's that. Um, my next question that I've been given is about places with gendered washrooms. Um, when do I feel comfortable using them? Uh, so on and so forth. And they gave an example about a friend, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, so, my answer is, every transgendered person is different. Everyone feels comfortable at different points, and so on and so forth. I personally started using the men's washroom before my testosterone. I'd been in college for two years, and it just made it so much easier to just walk into a men's bathroom because you didn't confuse people. Um, I had a lot of really cool people that I knew that were all like, oh yeah, 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 you're totally a guy, like, your birth name doesn't make sense for you, and they were wholeheartedly supportive of me. Um, the first time I actually used a men's bathroom was at Canada's Wonderland, so... Um, it is a great confidence boost to walk into the bathroom you feel most comfortable using, and just do your thing and then walk out and have no one go, Oh, shit, that's not that person. That, that 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 person's not the gender they're supposed to be. You know, they're just like, oh, you're a girl. Why are you in the men's washroom? No, it it's it, people don't notice people going to the bathroom. Trust me, it's really awkward to notice people that go to the bathroom. If you're noticing somebody go to the bathroom, you're a little weird. <laughs> um, but it. it it comes with time. For a long time, I wasn't comfortable. Um, I still sort of prefer using uh, family restrooms rather than using gendered bathrooms. But that's that's me. Um, it works. No one's gonna go. Oh, that's they're like if somebody's paying attention to you walk into the bathroom. It's the family bathroom, so they're not gonna know. Um, because men, women. Um, also, wheelchair bathrooms are often labeled as both male and female, so I'll use those as well. I know it's really shitty of me, but you, uh, it, 
given the option between a men's bathroom and a woman's bathroom and I didn't have any other choice, I would use a men's bathroom. Um, it's just me though. Uh, again, it's all personal. Uh, it's how comfortable you feel. Um, I guess I'm a little bit more comfortable than most. I don't know. I really don't. Um, I guess I'll touch on the topic of symptoms I've been experiencing. Acne has been a big thing my entire life, <laughs> for the most part. Um, I have scars on my chin from grade 8. Um, it's... And I'm 22, and that would have been like when I'm like... 12? 13? Yeah, um... It's something I've been dealing with for a long time, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's just, you know, sometimes it's just really shitty and you can feel the oil seeping into your skin. It's terrible. Yeah. Um. Uh, the other one's appetite increase. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. But it's great. It makes me so happy. But at the same time, I'm like... I ate an hour ago. Why am I hungry now? <laughs> so, um, trying to deal with that as best I can rather than going and eating all of the food in the house. Um, I've been li limiting myself. I kind of not force myself to. I don't want to eat all the food in the house, but. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop, or I'll gain a lot of weight. So I've been, I've been trying with that. Um, let's see, the lighting just changed because the my background of my computer is no longer white. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've also had a bit of breast pain over the last couple days. It's, it's not too much of a big deal. I can live with it. Um, I've just been trying not to fuss and whine about it. I don't have a very high pain tolerance. A very low pain tolerance. Um, so, because of the arthritis in my knees and the tendonitis in both my arms, I'm 22, guys! Um, more pain on top of what I already have can be a little annoying. So, I'm trying to deal with that. Um, it's not that painful, it's just, ibuprofen doesn't cut it anymore. Um, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, you guys gotta start asking questions because then I don't have to ramble on and repeat myself. At least it feels like I am. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next week.